just like that. Tap, tap, tap. If it's soft the dough, you don't need to stretch too much. Couple of things. Let's cut it. I'm gonna use this for this fantastic pizza. Lovely. We wanna keep the structure of the pizza dough nice and smooth. All the polish inside the, the mix that we have. Zero, zero flour. Voila, this is what I use. Please, extra. Boom, 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 baby. Voila. I wanna show you what Autolyze is for, what it's good for. So, the, like you can, boom, baby. Woo. Are you ready to show me some love? Smash that like. Boom, baby. Wow. Because if you put the love into something, it comes out fantastic. Come to the best pizza channel. And here you go, guys. I'm gonna make a really simple, this auto lies. It's a little bit complicated to understand, but here we are going to, to learn together the easy way. So this is what you need. So Polish made 24 hours ago. It's still cold. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start to make the auto lies. So let's put the Polish on the side, just like that. And then I'm gonna explain to you what to do. 700 grams of uh, flour, zero, zero, 400 milligrams of water, 25 grams of salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Put everything on the side, put these two ingredients on the sides. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's make the dough in autolyze. So basically autolyze is a pre-fermented, uh, no, pre-dough, and uh, is needed to make uh, uh, the best, basically is needed to make the gluten a little bit more strong. Usually it's typical when you have a weak flour. So guys, this process is very simple, but it's a little bit complicated on the, uh, to understand the hours of uh, uh, process because this is all about uh, resting time. It's not about the recipe because the recipe itself is really easy. So this is how you do it. Add the flour and the water. That's all you need to uh, mix together. So now let's mix all together. Just like that. We're gonna make the dough basically without the two uh, main ingredients, the, the three ingredients, without the oil, without the salt and without the polish. Let's say mix everything. Maybe use another spatula. Let's mix the flour with the water and basically is is like making the actual dough. mix until it's all together. Now let's start to work the dough on top of the counter. And uh, guys, you can make this also in the, in the dough machine. So don't worry about it. It's more easy if you do it on the dough machine and it's more, uh, more fast. So now let's mix everything just like that until everything is incorporated for a couple more minutes. And uh, I repeat, this is the easy way because it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated if you want to do it uh, like the, the actual uh, way. Here in this channel, I teach you everything very simply. So I want to make sure that you understand that. The results, which is the most important thing, are the, uh, the most important. That w w that's what we're interested for, the results, the best results. Okay. This is the dough. Now, let's put it in the counter for 40 minutes to one hour at room temperature. Just like that. And then after, we are going to mix the polish, the salt, and the olive oil. Let's wait. Okay, guys. Uh, there we go, guys. Boom. This is after, f after one hour room temperature. I want to show you what autolyze is for and what it's good for. So, the, like you can see, see, it's already uh, the gluten already built by himself. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, right now, is basically making the pizza dough. Like you can see, it's like a pizza dough. So now, it, it's the best making the, this 
type of dough in the dough machine but I'm gonna make it in the by hands just because uh, uh, not all of you have a, a pizza dough machine so let's go ahead and let's make uh, let's finish to complete the pizza dough with uh, auto lies okay so let's go ahead and let's start to put all the polish inside the the mix that we have made before now easily and gentle it's gonna be a little bit more a little bit complicated it's like when you're making the pizza dough with uh, with a uh, biga so let's go ahead and let's mix everything until it's all integrated we have to add the salt right at the end in this because uh, it will uh, help also the gluten to get more strong in the dough machine it's going to be more fast and more easy autolyze is also really good to have uh, more the dough a little bit more puffy i'm going to show you in a little bit when it's ready it's going to be also because you know the resting time builds the gluten see it's getting all together okay like you can see after 10 minutes only of work the dough is uh, is getting ready nice and strong so what i'm doing now it now is the right time to go ahead and uh, add the salt just like that on top and let's integrate all the salt together and uh, basically <laughs> and mix everything until all the salt is inside I can feel already the air inside it because this is the best for soft and crunchy pizza dough okay at this point also let's go ahead and uh, let's add the olive oil in your hands tap 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 now pay attention see what i'm doing i'm basically closing the dough always inside always inside and do this step until it's all integrated also the olive oil see closing always inside we want to keep the structure of the pizza dough nice and smooth most of you they're gonna say oh the dough is really sticky really sticky impossible to work well guys if it's too sticky for you first of all make the movement really quick quick movement and then second of all if it's too sticky leave it like this cover up 10 minutes and then boom the dough is gonna be good for you and not sticky see this is the goal how we want this dough nice and smooth get a bowl a little bit of uh, olive oil I already put the olive oil inside this was a previous dough from my other video little bit of uh, olive oil inside let's get the ball let's form one more time just the ball just to make a little bit smooth I wanted to show you a little bit more smooth and uh, voila the dough it's ready and uh, just like that now pay attention guys let me close it now it's ready to go ahead and give it a nice rest for six hours inside the fridge for six hours let's go ahead let's put the dough in the fridge and tonight we're gonna make the pizza <laughs> and uh, here you go guys let's get the dough after six hours at it's been in the fridge and uh, oh let me show you outside let me show you outside we're gonna make the second step and then uh, are you ready guys are you ready show me some love smash that like boom baby wow did you see how the structure is strong and uh, it's full of uh, air that's why you know auto lies it's, it's very typical to build the gluten really strong and now we are ready to make the balls so let's get the dough out wow guys take a look it's full of air inside nice nice we're gonna have a beautiful crust 
Okay, now let's get a little bit of flour. Let's put it on the side, a little bit of flour right there. And uh, uh, I want to say something. Also, with this dough, you can make uh, high, high hydration. So let's go ahead. And did you see the dough? This is how we make the ball. So you have to flip it over. This part is going to be our head. So hands in the flour on top. And now let's make the dough ball. Look, look how strong it is. It's nice and smooth. And the gluten part is really strong. I want to show you to you. Look how strong it is. Look, look, I can pull. And when it's cold, usually the gluten will break really, really fast and really hard. But in this case, because we made the dough how in our outer lies, the dough, the structure of the gluten is really, really strong. That's why it's called outer lies. I'm, I, you know, I explain you really quick. Now that we made the balls, let's make it all. Remember to to do this because we don't want to make the ball like that, but we want to make the balls just like this. Okay guys, the dough balls are ready. Let's get the, our box, a little bit of flour inside. And now let's place our ball like this. Boom, boom, boom. Three. A little bit of flour, put this down right there, a little bit of flour on top, just like that, and now close it and simply rest for two to three hours at room temperature. It depends, it might vary if it's really hot, one hour, it might grow. Basically, it needs to double up the side and dough will be ready to use. So, let me show you in a few hours how the pizza will look like so smash the like make sure to share this video let let's say, share this video let's see what okay guys here you go we left the dough two hours at room temperature and the dough it's lovely ready so now i'm gonna show you uh what to do really quick before we make the pizza we need to get ready with ingredients now is the right time to share this video it's free and you support this channel and uh, you, uh, by sharing this uh, this video, you are going to help me to uh, reach the 1 million subscribers. So, what I do here, is because uh, this is to stretch, everybody's been asking, what are you using? Semolina, semolina, so what I do? I do 50% semolina and 50% zero zero flour. Voila, this is what I use to stretch. Mix everything up, just like that. Okay, this is ready. When you mix it up a little bit, perfect. For this, for this pizza, we're gonna use uh, pecorino romano, provola di Napoli. This is original from Naples. I actually, I actually went to Naples to get it the other day. I shot the other video. Take a look at this provola. This is original smoke mozzarella. It's fantastic. Take a look how big it is. Let's cut it. I'm gonna use this for this fantastic pizza. Lovely, this is nice and dry. So there we go. This is, I'm gonna use uh, like a couple of slices, the whole Emma, thing together. Emma. Here we go, we cut this just like a Neapolitan style, like they do in Naples, a little bit thick because we wanna taste the cheese, just like that. And remember, before making the pizzas, guys, make it ready, just like that. And then at the exit, we're gonna use uh, some uh, bresaola. This is basically beef. It's like a prosciutto. If you don't find this, you can find the prosciutto. This is like a really uh, uh, bresaola. I don't know in uh, USA if they have it. If they don't have it, use the mm, prosciutto. And also a little bit of capers. Voila. Guys, the moment of the truth. We have to make the pizza. But before, remember, if you are new, you never follow me, I have a fantastic master class. You can learn A to Z for the house or for the pizza place, or if you wanna simply open a, open a business, go ahead and check out my master class. It's amazing, another level. So now after this, 
Let's go ahead and let's make the pizza. A lot of flour in the dough. Okay. Boom. Voila. Right there. Like you can see, the dough is nice and soft. Let's put a little bit of flour on the floor. And now let's put the dough on top of the let's put the dough on top of the counter and a lot of flour. Now we want to push the air to the crust. Just like that. Tap tap tap. If it's soft the dough, you don't need to stretch too much. Couple of things. The, oh, the dough on top of your right hand and then boom. We put it right here. Take off all the flour. Voila. That's it guys. The dough it's nice and stretched. Now a little bit of uh, olive oil on top of the dough just for the base. Voila. Let's put a little bit of uh, capers just like that. Voila. Let's get our Provola smoked mozzarella from uh, directly from Naples and uh, let's put it here and there just like that guys. Voila. Now a little bit of uh, pecorino on top and voila. Open up the oven. Woo. We have the right flame. Right flame. And uh, let's go ahead. Let's get the dough. A little bit of flour on the peel. And uh, one shot. Voila. Let's make it 13 inches pizza. Tum, tum, tum. Voila. Let's go ahead. Let's put it in the oven. And let's wait. Come, oh, baby. Woo. Give me the camera, bring you inside the oven. Woo. Okay guys, the pizza it's about oh my gosh, put it right there. Ready? Three, two, one, and boom, baby, take a look of this crust. Soft and crunchy in the same time. Voila, pizza is really light, perfectly, perfectly done. Now let's finish this pizza with a little bit of bresaola, just like there. We're gonna make the center like a flower, just like that. Hold on a second. Let's get our grana and uh, let's make it rain. Vai vicino qua. Voila, let's make it rain, let's make it rain. Extra, please, extra. Boom, 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 baby. Voila. The pizza with the auto lines, it's ready. Take a look and smash the like. But before, we're gonna taste. We need to see the inside of this pizza. Take a look at this magical pizza. Nice. <laughs> well, of course, every time I make the dough, it doesn't matter what I make, it comes out good. Because if you put the love into something, it comes out fantastic. For this, the serves a subscribe. Let's go. <laughs> I have my father right here. Padre, buongiorno. Buonasera, buonasera a tutti, eh. Me. My father also pizzaiolo is gonna taste the pizza. Assa just a pizza, dai. Take a look of this slice. The bottom is cooked lovely. Tieni, prego. Prego, prego. Now it's my turn. Mamma, eh. E c'ho tutti i caffè. Io sei francese. C'è tutti i caffè. Mm. See you the next one. Every Friday, new video. See you the next one. Ciao, ciao, amici, ciao!